I'm doing an experiment on music and plants. But I haven't been able to classify this one yet. Dr. Buffo's bulking formula protein shakes are guaranteed to turn even the skinniest runt into a superman. Even the skinniest runt? Do you think I could get one too? Sure. We can go back to the flower shop where I bought it. Come on, Charlie. Wait, I didn't catch the name. Mr. Bulko? Senior Flubbo? <laughs> Dr. Tofu? No, Captain Blubbo. I'm sorry, uh, children, that was the not. only one I had. It was left behind from a special order that was picked up last week. Never seen anything quite like them before. Can you get more? Not for another six months. <gasps> this fellow pretty much cleared me out. Strange fellow, too. Not very keen on people skills. Six months? <sighs> Summer will be over by then. And ever since I switched to playing classical music, the plant has started growing again. I wouldn't try pablum, though. Hey! Look what it's done to Charlie. Nice throw, Charlie. Oh! Sorry, I didn't see you. And obviously you haven't seen this, either. It means stay off the grass. You are in direct violation of Section 5, Paragraph 3. But what good is grass if you can't play on it? Play? I pour my sweat and blood into making this lawn perfect. We can go play somewhere else. Huh? I won't have you little vandals tearing up my park. I'm fighting back. Our gloves! Warning, assorted lollygaggers! This is Mr. Scrib, the groundskeeper. Keep off my grass. Trespassers will face retribution. Severe retribution. Can you believe that, Mr. Scrib? I saved all winter for that glove. He's just a big bully. We need... Dr. Buffo's protein shake. That stuff doesn't work, Charlie. But the results are guaranteed. <sighs> Sold out? I can't believe it. Sorry, kid. Some strange fellow came by this morning and bought my entire stock. First the flowers, then this. It looks like someone's stocking up. What do you think, Mona? I think it's time to get my glove back. <laughs> It's locked. <gasps> Look, there's our gloves. And a lot more stuff, too. Couldn't you just buy another glove? It's the principle of the thing. <gasps> Turn off your tape player, Charlie. It's not me. I think it's c c coming from over there. It's, it's the pawn creature. It eats children who stay out late at night! Uh, wait! It's Mr. Scrib! He's the one who bought all the flowers! And now he's playing music for them. I knew my theory about music and plant growth was right! Look! He's also the one who bought all of Dr. Buckle's protein shakes. Why does he need so much? I don't think they're for him. There you go, my pretties. This will make you big and strong. <gasps> grow, my darlings, grow! I have such big plans for you. You again? 
Sneaky little spies. Run! <sighs> and, well, we tried all sorts of mixtures, but it still hasn't grown. Maybe it only works with Dr. Buffo's formula and the music. Why would he pick exotic flowers for a public park? And why make them so unnaturally big? That's something we're gonna have to find out. And get Mona's glove back in the process. Uh, can we stick to daylight this time? What a mess! Who did this? Whoever it was must have been mighty thirsty. It looks like the flowers got too big for their pots. Maybe they got too big for this greenhouse, too. Hmm. How do we find Mr. Scrib now? He can't have gone far. Where do you hide a few hundred overgrown hmm. exotic flowers? Uh, guys, do you notice anything peculiar? About the park, I mean? everyone left in a hurry. My kite! The bush ate my kite! Kite eating bushes? That kid's been out in the sun too long. going on in that park. Whoops, I've got to get going. I promised my mom I'd be home for seven. You'll never make it. Sure I will. I'll just take a shortcut through the park. Oh, it's Pablum again. I hate it. You know what's been bugging me all day? Why would Mr. Scrib go through so much trouble to grow exotic flowers only to make them disappear? Maybe they were never meant for the public park. Maybe he's just doing experiments, like me. Shoo, fly. <sighs> Wait a minute. If it isn't actually a flower, then it must be. There it is. It's a variant of the Venus flytrap. It eats bugs. Little tiny bugs. But Mr. Scrib grew his plants into giants. Now we look like little tiny bugs to them. That would explain the deserted park and that kid's kite. Mr. Scrib must have hidden the giant fly traps in the bushes. And now anyone who ventures in the park is turned into lunch! Charlie! <laughs> Whoa! Charlie, thank goodness. What's going on? We'll explain later. We have to get out of here. You know, you children have been entirely too nosy. This is a public park. You have no right to do this. Why not? Look around you. Perfect conditions for the first time. No trampled grass, no broken branches. You can't keep us here. There's only one of you and three of us. Oh, I won't keep you here. But they will. Finally, nature has a way to fight back against men. Now, if you'll excuse me, the town council asked to see me. I'm probably getting a medal for my initiative. I try not to play with your food too much, my darlings. Let's get out of here. You carnivorous creeps! 
Everyone's a critic. Okay, show me what you got. Oh. Nice day for a game of catch. Right, kids? The new groundskeeper sure is nice. Speaking of which, whatever happened to Mr. Scribb? Officer Howcroft said that he was transferred to Alaska. Turns out he blew the whole park budget on exotic plants and protein shakes, but none of them can be accounted for. Well, neither can the sudden disappearances. Oh, sure, Officer Halcroft says it was because the people were leaving after spring break, but we know better. Uh, who can tell for sure anymore? The only evidence we had were the dead plants, and they mulched that with the leaves from last fall. Well, I don't like it. It ties up way too neatly. I have a feeling it's not over yet. Mm -hmm.